In this little video, I'm going to explain the difference between traditional falconry and display falconry. Now, traditional falconry goes back thousands of years where people used birds of prey to hunt, hunting for food for things like rabbits, pheasants, even using eagles to catch larger prey such as deer. Now, traditional falconry still takes place today, with people hunting with birds of prey all around the world and in the UK, all within the law and within the seasons of which quarry you can take, etc. Now, I'm often asked on displays if we hunt with our birds, and the answer is no, primarily because we do lots of flying shows, and we don't want our birds to chase rabbits in nearby fields. So we do display falconry. We provide school visits, static displays, flying shows, even taking birds to weddings and things like that. Now, our birds aren't actually entered. That's a little falcon return. A bird that's entered means it's been introduced into hunting. It's had that idea at least given to it and that training's begun. So our birds haven't been trained to hunt. They've just been trained to fly back to the glove of a lure for display purposes. It is possible, however, to do both uh, at the same time. You can have days where you just fly your birds for recreation, for yourself and the bird, and for the bird's exercise, and out hunting when the season begins. And that comes down largely to the weight of the bird. So if the bird's at flying weight, then it's at a weight where it's hungry enough to return to the glove for food. But if it's a little bit lower, down into its hunting weight, that aggression begins to build up, and it's more inclined to want to actually kill things. So, that's it in a nutshell, the difference between traditional falconry and display falconry. Some falconers do a bit of both, and some just stick to one. Either way, that's falconry in the modern world. Thank you for watching.